Okay, so national championships already went over the single speed race. This is the race recap for Sunday's elite men's race. Okay, so a little bit of context. Saturday, it rained off and on pretty much all day. Rained to the point where lightning came in in the afternoon and canceled the, the evening pre-ride. So everybody was coming into Sunday's race with no idea what the course was like or how it was gonna ride. I was really looking forward to this um, just from racing single speed on Friday. I knew the course was not super technical and really fast and, and dry. So I knew that a little bit of moisture or a lot of moisture would change the course and probably in my favor. Um, got out on course earlier in the day and, and, and liked what I saw. This was also the first time uh, I got to do the elite only sections. So for the single speed race, we were on the blue course, which was basically the same thing, just added a couple more technical sections in the Mansion Hill area. Yeah, I was happy and then jumped on the line, stoked to get the last call up on the front row. I was eighth. This race on Sunday was my second UCI race of the season. So I did Hendersonville right before Thanksgiving and then uh, I did a local cross race just to test out my single speed, uh, part of the NCCX series, and then, uh, then I did nationals. So I only got three races in. Stoked to get the last spot on the front row and right off the line. Uh, I had a not so great start, missed my pedal, but was able to slot in by the time we hit the first or second corner. Missed the crash off the start, which was great. Didn't break my chain like Lance did, so I was off to a better start than some people already, no matter what. And uh, slotted in into the top five, and then pretty much just stayed there. Strohmeyer, Bruner, Curtis, and Scott Funston were at the front just charging each other, throwing haymakers, and I, I just like didn't have quite enough to really connect onto the back of that group. Pretty much every lap I was like one corner behind them. And it was super frustrating, but you know, I couldn't do anything about it. I was going as hard as I could and I, I kept trying to ride sections more clean. Uh, I kept trying to dump dump more fitness into some sections, but no matter what I did, I was always kind of just one step behind those guys. At one point, Brunner did mechanical and he came back to fifth place, so I did move up into fourth at one point, but then uh, that was only for about half a lap or three quarters of a lap, and then he, he got a new bike uh, and came right by me went right by Curtis and straight to the front. Um, Curtis kind of fell off the pace towards the last three laps of the race and I could, I could tell I was kind of gaining on him. I did manage to get ahead of him with maybe two laps to go, but then he came right back around me and we kind of rode that whole last lap. Yeah, nothing super exciting for me. I was just stuck in fifth place the whole race and I was just watching these guys battle. Not being able to do anything about it is often really frustrating, but you know, stepping back and looking at the context of my season, I'm, I'm pretty happy with finishing up nationals in fifth place and like the last lap even, everybody came through the barriers within like it was like Bruner, then five seconds later, it was Strohmeyer, then five seconds later, 10 seconds later, it was Funston, and then 10 seconds later, it was Curtis, and then 10 seconds later, it was me. So it was like really close racing. I love that, and I love, and that's why I love cross. So just for me, it was great to be back in the community, back racing cross, and yeah, it got me all fired up to, uh, to definitely race more cross next year, so you can count on Kenny and Kerry being back for some more cross. Um, but for now, it's off season. I uh, hope everybody has happy holidays coming up. And uh, I guess we'll reconnect in 2024. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.